Hey guys. Um, right, after having lots of lots of problems with this, I don't think it's the actual uh, supply itself. It was me what I'd been doing with it. I think I was asking a little bit too much of it, um, and my desoldering skills are still um, developing. So I've decided I'm not going to carry on prattling around with this because they keep blowing this uh, D882 and it's doing my head in. So I won't order another one. Um, there'll be some spares on that one I can use. But I've reordered this one, so I'm going to rebuild it now. And um, I'm going to see where we go from there. Okay. Let's open this up. Hmm. Get the tight fit. Now I'm just going to dump everything there for a second. Uh, so, what have we got? Rectified loads. A whole bunch of resistors. TL081CP. Take these little like, op amp things, there's a few of those. Got our main transistor, voltage regulator, so that's a nice input resistor. I think this is for, uh, so it has a bit of a load on it or something, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Oh yeah, you get the wires so you, you don't have to actually put these, solder these to the board. Um, you can use these connectors. I'm going to use one of these and I've got a 10 turn pot that I'm going to use for the uh, the voltage control. And then just use one of these 10Ks for um, the adjust on the current. Little heat sink. Yeah. Some transistors, okay, a bunch of capacitors, all the things that we need to build this up. Now, the nice thing about this is, as you can see, everything's written on the board. So, if you can't read the, uh, if you can't read the resistors, let me have a look. See if they're written on these little bits. I don't think they're going to be. Um, If you can't read this, I think this is 220. Let me have a little look on my. Uh, well, I think he won't get any better at this. No, it's 2.2. So, <coughs> if you're like me and you're not very good at reading the resistors, so I'll make sure you've got a meter uh, handy because that's going to be the only part, I think. Um, 10 4, which is 100 nanofarads. So, a quick little check on that. Which might need to get to water. Yep, beautiful. 100 and a half hundred. Okay. So I'm gonna um, if I remember rightly when I first built this there was absolutely nothing uh, nothing sort of noteworthy, I, I suppose. When you put the heat sink on for uh, the D882 connect the heatsink to the transistor first because the heatsink has got a couple of um, little pins on it that go into these holes so really if you set that in there then just like you know tack those in at least you know that your transistor will fit uh, as it should and get it the right way around as well <laughs> right I'm going to fast forward through the next bit.
так. Чувак, чувак. Давай свой лон. Make it look nice. Make it look like it's had some time and not just been rushed. That's the 24 volt voltage regulator because it comes in as a 24 volts on the AC. But then, because we regulated DC, we've got a times up 24 by 1.4, 1.414. That should give us about 36 volts uh, DC. Okay, so we just want the uh, little connection for the fan. It's got a 24 volt fan. Um, I can go in there. So a bit of a tight, well, it's not really a tight squeeze, but it's going to be a snug squeeze. I wonder what the difference is snug and tight. Oh. Well, one's snug and one's tight. Put that on. Oh, now this is where it gets a little bit because that's just fallen out, and the holes now uh, it's full of uh, solder. So I'm going to see if I can just quickly cheat this by putting one in and see if I can just warm up the solder on the other side and see if the leg will just go through. Lead leg, yeah, lead. I've got a funny feeling this is going to be a pain now. No. Just, we just managed to do that. A little bit of a lock on our side. Okay, wasn't going to get punished for that mistake. There we go. So there's just that. Uh, just this transistor. Oh, and these headers. What's the headers for? I don't even know where they go. Unless this is out something else, not even for this. Yeah, probably not then. Okay, so I've just got to solder those and find somewhere. So I'm just going to take and I'll get somewhere. Got some wire. Okay, I'm gonna put all this onto the onto the long bits now. I'm just gonna speed this bit up. Uh, okay, uh, right. Well, I forgot to press bloody record, so I'll put this on anyway. So we've got the uh, D1047, and here's the. Uh, volume control the voltage I mean volume control and here's the one uh, not the most tidying of soldering there but never mind uh, I, I, I've not used these ones yet these are from the, these are from the, the, the other kit the one that don't work uh, well it does but it just keeps blowing this uh, so I think that should be okay to go now there is a slot there for a 24 volt fan but uh, I can turn the solar line off now turn the extractor fan off there we go and this Is what we're going to use to give it some power. Now what we got here is a uh, well, that's 24 volts AC, and this is um, 
get into the mains. And then by rights, we should be able to feed this into here. Lovely chamele. And uh, just for testing purposes, this won't, uh, it's not going to stay right, of course. I'm going to get a case and decide whether this particular power supply is too big or not. And I also need to do inrush filtering. Um, I was wondering, I don't know if it's, if I can basically bang one of these capacitors. Um, I've actually got one with some heat shrink, but I suppose I could put some heat shrink on it uh, and bang this across the the inlet here. Um, just to give that a little bit of a, a little bit of protection. I'm not quite sure what to do there because on the moth type of things because I don't have a, an earth connection on this. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's what I'm going to do. But I just thought I'd just power it on and just put it on, power it up uh, and see if we actually get some life out of it. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Okay. Sold right up out of the way. Let's not knock my bottle of beer over, that would be terrible. Uh, I've got a case of these as a present for my friend. Uh, right, so what do we want? We want, to, we, want to, we want to plug this in and plug this in. So we want a little screwdriver. We want a little screwdriver. We don't need someone anymore. Oh, we want to. Um, we want to see some voltage coming out, don't we? Now, I am not going to connect a bulb. I've got bulbs, you see. I've got a bulb. I've got a, um, a very nice car bulb. You know, 12 volts, 50, 60, 65 volts, I think it is. Um, what's a positive? Thing? But I'm a bit scared, if I put that on, it's just going to make this thing go bang. Well, yeah, basically pop. Because that's what keeps happening. If I do it on the other supply, I can get it all working. I can see if I've got variable voltage and everything by turning the voltage control up and down. And then I can put something on that requires more than a couple of hundred milliamps. And pop, it just blows the... It blows this, so... That's not very good. I don't suppose it matters which way this goes in, being AC. It's not polarized, is it? No. Come here. Okay, I'll just do it one at a time. Yep, so there's our, uh, there's our connection there, if I chuck the wires in here, I'm ready to go. I'm not going to put that down just yet. Those other wires is for another 24 volts coming off, and these two are so, yeah, these two are so, I can have it either 110, or I've got it in serial, the primary, uh, for 240. Right, there's no metal on here. Everything's clear off there. Ah, that's nice and out the way. It's got fees on it. Yep. Where's the ends of those? What I want is a that one there. Skin gotcha. Two minutes. I can plug into there. Uh, I need to move that out the way. I need to do that so you can see that. So if I move this out of the way, actually on top of the bench, like that as well. I wonder if you can see this. If I turn that on, can you see that? Or should I bring it a bit closer? Oh, there we go. We can do that. 
do that like that. Brilliant. Uh, I've got this one for the negative side. Now, it does say that this is the engineer's dream or something because you can't kill it, apparently. <laughs> but I have killed it several times. That's on AC. We've got one for that on DC. Give it a fighting chance, shall we? Okay, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the, uh, the current all the way down to zero. I'm gonna turn the volume control, or the, the volume control, <laughs> the voltage control all the way down to zero. I'm just checking I'm in the right ones. Yep. None of these wires are touching. So it does look a bit dodgy that connection. Uh, that probably nah, it'll be alright. He hopes. Okay, right. Let's supply some power. Fingers crossed, people. Okay, so we got 0 0.0 volt. Turn that up a little bit. Does it do anything? Ah, because the connection on here seems to be playing up a little bit. Okay, so we do have. Nice bit of control down to 0 0.1. And if I turn this amp all the way down, that doesn't really make any difference. If I start turning it up, should get. Well, I would have thought that the. Let's just check nothing's getting warm. Um, I would have thought that the, uh, the LED would have come on. There's no load, so I need to put a load on here, don't I? Let's put a little fan on just to start off with. Uh, I'll put this fan on. Now this fan has got its own regulator on here. A uh, little button converter, so it can't go any it can't go any higher than um, 12 volts for the fan. So I just shove that in there and just put that in there. Hopefully that make a good enough connection that this will work. Okay, right. Current limits come on. That's good. And you can't see that, can you? Um, well, I can turn the current limit off. Turn the voltage up a bit. There we go. Oh, I'm can see the fans actually on. We can turn that off. Two volts. If I give it. So 4.1, so if I take that up to 4.1, well, it doesn't matter what I take it up to because that's, that's been pre-set up for, um, for 12 volts. So that's good. If I put current limit on, okay. Current limit's still on. I don't know, you should be able to see that little. Oh, you can see it. I'll turn that off. It's actually red here, but to, to you, look, you see the current limit light coming on. It does look red, yeah. So there we go. Of course, a bit of the test should be that if I can put. Um, And I do like having a 10 pot, 10 turn pot, because you do get a lot better control. Like if I want to go on to 10 volts now, oh, let's just uh, control this out. 10 volts, look. Just tweak that. Look at that, look. There we go. So it's nice to have a little bit of control um, with that 10 pot turn. 10 pot turn, 10 turn pot. Hey! Okay, well, 
so far so good so I'm going to give it a bit of a thumbs up so that was a nice quick easy build simple as it come um, it all works which is nice and I shall do some more testing in a bit